What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing and it will help out this channel. So today, I wanted to just share one of the most vicious, and I mean most vicious, stabbings that I've seen in my whole prison career. And this one is actually one that was done by the Nathaniels. This was in Sad F on B Yard. And the dude that ended up getting blasted, honestly was a cool northerner, man. And I would chop it up with him here and there in the building. It was a white boy named Ghost. Little short, skinny white boy, man, but he was witty. Oh boy was witty. So when I first got to B yard, he was in C section with me. He was on C status. So I first got there, boom, I go to C section in building three. And it was Ghost and there was another Northerner Shadow. Uh kind of tall, stocky, dark home, dark homie, you know what I mean? But he was bald. Like he looked like a homie. He didn't have long hair. I can't remember if he had like an X4 on his face. But I just remember Shadow and Ghost. There were the two Northerners, like the first two Northerners that I chopped it up with. Ghost, because he was right there and like I said, he was cool. One thing I always remember about him, cause he was a fool, man. Like, oh boy, he stayed clown and he was swerving, he was doing his thing. That's how he ended up getting caught. He would ended up dipping into his own stuff. Somebody told on him that he was getting high. So, boom, as soon as I get there, he sees me. Oh, like, what's up, G? Like, whoa, whoa. Chopping it up. He's like, hey, what's up? Like, I got, you know, I got some of that. Like, oh, like, nah, I'm good, G. Like, he's like, come on. He, he tried to say something. He said something. And then he was like, scary money don't make no money. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, he's like, I'm not tripping, bro. Like, I'll do business with, with, with you guys, you know? Scary money don't make no money, bro. And that was the first time that I ever heard that saying. Scary money don't make no money. And I'm not gonna lie, it stuck to me ever since. So, ever since then, man, I would just chop it up with him. And then his bunkie was shadow. I worked with Shadow in the kitchen, in the dish pit. It was just me and him back there, so we'll be back there chopping it up, you know? And long story short, a couple months go by, I end up going to A-side, he stays on C-status, and I end up seeing him on freeze. He's in the tables on freeze, like, He's just like shaking his head and shit. So I go to work and I'm talking to Shadow like so he's like, oh man, he's like, like somebody told on him, like what? He's like, yeah. They kind of suspected that he was getting high and they ended up putting another Norteño to watch him. Like, what? He's like, yeah, one of the homies was watching him and then caught him in the act. And went and told what like yeah damn next thing you know we're in the kitchen and i see shadow in the window he's like, like hey fool come here he's like hey it's about to go down like what he's like about to get rid of him like, what yeah i just we're right there at the window the yards out there we're at the chow hall window and sure enough you just see they're walking around the yard then they go to the field and they're like in the middle of the field you just see somebody come up as soon as they somebody else came boop 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 i'm talking about they got them at least like five six times so it went this just bleeding and then this just his whole shirt was just red whole face was red 
And they took a minute to get there. I'm talking about homeboy was out. I'm talking about he wasn't even moving. You know how some people, like, they start crawling or turning. I'm talking about he was just out. I don't know if he was in a coma or what. They put him on the stretcher, wheeled him off. He didn't walk off the yard. They put him on the stretcher, wheeled him off, then took him. You know what I mean? And I never seen him again. But that one was vicious because he was little. You know what I'm saying? So anything, it could have just been something like this big. And it probably pierced something, you know? And I'm not going to lie. Right there, the Norteños had bone crushers. That's one thing. They did not play. They had bone crushers. But that one is one of the most vicious ones that I've seen by them. You know what I'm saying? And on that yard, I didn't seen three people go out that way. If you guys want me to tell you the other two, let me know in the comments. Get this video, man, to at least 100 likes. I be getting over a 1,000 views, not even 100 likes, man. 100 likes, and I'll tell you guys the other two vicious stories with more detail. I appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. It's your boy, Santo G. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, shout out Kayla Kush. Shout out Cali Herbs Los Angeles. Shout out Hadar Extracts, man. And shout out Frenchy Bro Kennels. I appreciate y'all.